Haley Baldwin and Justin Bieber's car breaks down. Kim Kardashian admits she goes to Kylie for mommy advice. And Miley Cyrus and Lady Gaga might be working together. All that and more on today's Rundown. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Dur. Naz and Erin here. I missed you, Erin. I, I know I haven't done together this in, a while. in so long. She was in Mexico, living it up. Well, I was here, living it up, working alone. <laughs> um, but while we've been gone, Drake's baby mama has now broken her silence, and we'll tell you what she said later in the show. That's right. And also, we're finding out that Kim Kardashian needs Kylie's help to be a parent. On Monday, Kim Kardashian posted a photo taken from her adorable Snapchat video with Chicago with the caption, Chai Noel. The mystery of the caption had everybody in a tizzy as neither Kim and Kanye's other kids, North and Saint, they don't have middle names, nor do their cousins, Stormy and True. And the middle name section on Chicago's birth certificate is blank from what we've seen. Also, none of the baby announcements included a middle name, so what is the deal with this? Well, it could be that little Chicago is the exception to the rule, after all. We know that Kim said she preferred one syllable names back on Ellen, but made the exception for little Chai. So maybe she got a middle name exception as well. We know that right now the other new babies have gotten quote family names with Chloe's baby named after Kris Jenner's grandfather and Noelle is Kim's own middle name. Or an alternate theory, maybe Kim is just gonna go by Noelle now. Who really knows you guys? We wonder if Kim went to Kylie for advice on the matter as we just found out that she's recently been going to her 20 year old sister for parenting advice. Who would have thought? According to E! News, lately it's been Kylie I've been going to advice for. Kylie is up on all the new gadgets and the new baby stuff. This does not surprise me at all. I feel like younger people are more savvy mm -hmm. to what's hot and what's new and fresh on the scene, even when it comes to babies. I love, um, I totally agree with you on that, um, but I want to talk about this middle name thing. Do okay. you have a middle name, Erin? I, I do. don't know your middle name. What is your middle name? I do. It's Janet. Okay. Which is not the greatest middle name. I actually think it's great because I feel like you don't meet a lot of Janets every now and then. But so the I problem like is I changed it. Oh. Yeah, now it's it's my old, my maiden name. So it's Erin White Robinson now. Okay, so now you just no longer have Janet. Yeah, I got rid of it. It was really sad. Wait, why'd you get rid of it? Because I couldn't have four names. That was just too much for me to keep up with. I'm Latin, so I have like 10 million <gasps> what names. What is it? Oh my God, it's like Jacqueline Nazareth Riza Santana Perez. It's <gasps> insane. I know. Really, is that crazy? true? Those were yeah. all your names? All my names. Will you keep all of them forever? I don't know, hopefully I'll get married and I'll take someone's name. Will you add it or will you cut one? I think I'll hyphenate, you know, like Kim Kardashian West. Oh my gosh, that's so long. <laughs> <laughs> right, you guys, well, I'm sure you've heard by now that Drake told everyone that he does in fact have a child when he released his new album and now his baby mama is breaking her silence. Drake's baby mama, Sophie Brousseau, broke her silence and responded to fans after Drake confirmed the existence of his son on his Scorpion album. So Drake was the one to confirm the rumor that he had a secret son on his album and he alluded to the baby boy named Adonis, as well as his contentious relationship with Adonis's mother. Now, while Drake never calls out Adonis or Sophie by name, Sophie, who currently lives with her son in France, claimed that she was pregnant with Drake's child early last year and she eventually gave birth to their son in October. So fans were naturally intrigued as to who Drake's baby mama actually is, and they immediately began flooding Sophie's Instagram to get more insight on her, as well as to get some glimpses of baby Adonis. So on her Instagram, Sophie shares everything from selfies to art she admires to some of her own sculpting work. Sophie also shared pictures throughout her pregnancy, including her baby shower. And there is one photo of her holding baby Adonis on her account, although we can't really see his face in the picture. The lack of pictures of Drake's baby prompted one fan to rudely write on one of her sculpture pictures, quote, how about we do a deal? You show us Adonis and I'll pretend to care about your sculptures. To which Sophie replied, quote, how about that deal? You unfollow so you don't have to see my sculptures because I won't expose my son to internet weirdos. Have a good day, sir. Yes. You know what? I'm so into this. I'm a what fan Sophie's of that. Sophie's doing. You know, she's not using her child to become more famous because you know everyone just wants to see what he looks like because Drake's, you know, one of the biggest rappers and singers of all time right yeah. now. Um, so, yeah. I just, I'm into what Sophie's doing right now, keeping it yeah, private. Yeah, you know, 
I just secretly, I'm a huge Drake fan and secretly do want to see his son. I mean, don't you though? Like, I love that she's being a good mom and like protecting her son. I get that. But as like a Drake fan, I still secretly want to see him. Yeah, but we will see him eventually, you know? I don't think he'll, we'll never see him in life. Like, we'll see him when he grows up and then we'll see pictures of him now. But did you hear about these theories of how, you know, Drake sings the song, um, I only love my bed and my mama, I'm uh -huh. sorry. Uh -huh. But apparently, speaking of middle names, like we just were, Adonis's middle name is Ma Bed, M A H B E D. No, no, no. Is that real? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you didn't know this? No, I didn't know. M-A-H-B-E-D. So everyone's saying Drake the whole time was telling us that he loves his son and his mom. I know. No, that's, is that true? Yeah, this is true. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I mean, it's a meme, so it has to be true, right? Oh, oh okay. I was like, did no, TMZ report no, that, or did you did. find that on like Reddit? No, a, no. Like, it is actually confirmed that that's his middle name. I don't know if Drake's confirmed that, but it's been confirmed by sources. My that that's his middle name. brain is exploding. <laughs> Pardon me right now while I have a moment. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments what you think about that. Is that his real middle name? Okay, while I recover from that last story, <laughs> let's talk about Marley Cyrus and Lady Gaga possibly collaborating on something secretive. Miley Cyrus is hard at work on a brand new album and word on the street is that she is collaborating with none other than Lady Gaga. It is definitely not set in stone right now, but so many fans are speculating that Miley and Gaga are teaming up to create the hottest song ever. The speculation all started when it was revealed by an insider close to Miles that she has been in the studio working on a new album. This insider told us weekly, a new album is in the works for Miley. She's been in New York since the middle of this week and is officially working on new music. And this same source also went on to add that Miley has been, quote, recording at the same Electric Lady studio that Gaga uses, and that Miley's been, quote, recording the past few nights till 4 a.m. Well, obviously, using the same studios, Gaga definitely caught our attention here, but there's more to this story. On top of using the same studio space as Lady Gaga, Miley is also working with Mark Ronson, who has worked with Gaga in the past, and his Instagram post featuring Miley essentially added more fuel to this fire. He shared this photo of himself with Miley on Insta about a week ago and captioned it, quote, I don't even know if this pic is real or fake because I was so busy giving strong Jew steel to the camera. I was unaware of who was to my left or right. All I know is the girl in this snap helped me write one of my favorite songs coming soon. I think this is very possible and it is a collaboration that I am here for. I, I've never really thought about the two of their voices together on a song. You know, when Gaga partnered with Beyonce, I was like, that makes so much musical sense to me. Mm -hmm. These two have such different sounds. Um, I never thought about this as a possibility, but now I'm into it. I'm like, yes, how did I not see this before? See, it's funny. I think they have such a similar sound. Interesting. Yeah, like I feel like Lady Gaga's album, Joanne, is like, Joanne, you know? Like, and that's <laughs> like, very Miley. Like, I feel like Miley has that twangy country voice. I know I can't sing, guys, but I feel like they can like melt together. I don't know. <laughs> I, it totally makes sense to me. I didn't think about it until I read this story either. And like, yes, duh, I hope this happens. But also just because they share the same recording studio, doesn't mean it's actually gonna happen. That's so true. I guess we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that it does. I don't know about you guys, but Naz's performance just <laughs> sold <me>. Joanne! <laughs> Right, you guys. Well, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin have been spotted in New York making out together, uh -huh. going to the movies together, and now they're directing traffic together, Erin. So on Tuesday, Jaylee was spotted in the Hamptons, and apparently their car broke down because fans took videos that, of course, quickly surfaced on the internet of Haley and Justin directing traffic around their broken down Mercedes Benz in the middle of a road in the Hamptons. Take a look. Snappy. People Magazine reported the police eventually came to help Jaylee out and direct traffic and mechanics came to fix their car. Can you imagine just driving down the street in the Hamptons, listening to Beauty and a Beat, Never Say Never. <laughs> Cause that's what people do in the Hamptons. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, you see a man directing traffic, and it's Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. And that would be, I would jump out and like take selfies with them, although Justin probably would be mad about that. I know, he doesn't, did you know that I got a selfie with Justin no. before he made the rule, you guys? <gasps> what, did, what did he say when you approached him? Oh my god, him? he was so nice. He was really? in his car leaving a restaurant, The Rainbow, uh -huh. and I ran just, and it's actually like, you can buy this footage on the internet. <laughs> of you running? Yes. There's, it was, it was like me and like 10 other girls, and we're like, ah! 
Bruno was like in the car next to him and he was telling the paparazzi to be like nice to us. Oh. And I was like, you're my favorite. <laughs> so he probably wanted to take you home with him. That's no. why it was really nice. This was like my favorite, Justin. This was like, you know, when his hair was like cut on the side and it was just like a oh. big swoosh. Like a I peacock. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was my favorite, Justin. All right, guys, it is the end of the dirt. Aaron and I got some questions for you. We really want to know what you think of a potential collab between Miley Cyrus and Lady Gaga. Do you think it makes a lot of sense? Do you not want to see them collab? Let us know in the comment section below. I think I already know what they're going to say, but please well, comment anyway. Hopefully it's yes. Um, also, I want to know, what's your middle name? Is it weird? Is it interesting? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Middle names are tricky, and some people either love their names or hate their names. So let us know what your middle name is in the comments. Also, if you have made it this far in the video, <laughs> I want you to write tomato in the comments because okay. I want to see who actually makes it to the end of the episode. And I want you to subscribe to our channel because we are really trying to grow our audience here at Clever News. Mm -hmm. You guys are a part of our family. We're a part of yours and we want to grow it. So subscribe. Um, also, we, oh, by the way, we're not going to be here tomorrow yes, on DHR. Yes, so happy 4th of July. So also let us know in the comments what you guys are doing for the 4th, how you're celebrating because we want to know. Yeah, we've asked them to do a lot of things. Yeah. They're going to be busy for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, and hit us up on our socials. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Yes, I'm at Naz Perez on Instagram. Erin Robinson. You guys probably already have done that already. But anyway, yes. we love you guys. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye. But before you guys go, click right over here to see how all the celebrities reacted to LeBron James joining the Los Angeles Lakers. Erin, where are you? I just wanted to surprise him. Surprise! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like I said earlier, you better do it. That sound, sounded threatening. I didn't mean it to, but... <laughs> it, was, Please. it was nice. <laughs> Please.